Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 8 of my Minecraft Stone Block Let's Play. Um, I've got some things in s planned to do today. I would like to get those done. Um, I want to start working on um, automating the sieving system because <laughs> I'm getting I have access to a lot of cobblestone and what am I going to do with it what I ask you what what <laughs> but to process it and turn it into other things that's what so I love these glasses one green one blue it's awesome so <laughs> um let's do this let's do it um i did <laughs> the reason why i'm so anxious to get the sieving automated because i just sieved through nine stacks of dust <sighs> um which isn't it isn't it isn't near as bad since i have three sieves uh and I use the um, the big compressed hammer, uh, and it makes it a lot quicker. But it's still kind of painful. <laughs> it still is. Um, so yeah, I definitely would like to start in on that. Uh, but first, I want to upgrade my tools because we went to the nether last time we got some cobalt we got some ardite and what i wanted to do was to upgrade these guys um let's see our attack on here is 8.65 with the alumite so i'm hoping this will oh yeah it's at 10.1 with that um we have another, uh, we can make another alumite, I mean not alumite, manolin shovel head. But I'm curious as to how, how that would actually, so let's go ahead and upgrade these other tools and maybe we'll go ahead and do that if we have enough stuff. So this is going from a mining speed of uh, 6.8 to a mining speed of 12. So that's a really freaking awesome, huge upgrade. And this is going from the same 6.8 to mining speed of 12. So that is fantastic. Uh, I don't think we have enough iron now because we spent all of it upgrading our mod farm. Uh, I was going to say, well, no. Uh, I think we can do it. I think we can. Boink. Actually, should I use another metal? Maybe copper? We do have a lot of copper in... Oh yeah, let's let's use the copper. It doesn't matter what material you use, you just have to have blocks of some type of metal. Alright. Um so now we need like three Those Endermen are driving me batty. We need three of these. And then we need, I believe I put, yeah, that's the tool station. Those go there. That goes there. And that goes there. And that gives us a tool forge. Bada bing, bada boom. Yes. So what that does is it opens up uh, the big tools like uh, the hammer, the shovel, the AOE tools, the guide, um, 
it even opens up this uh, cleaver. I'm not sure exactly what else. I don't remember seeing this. A laser gun and a katana. Those are new, I think, too. And maybe this kama. The kama is a precision reaping tool mowing down plants and shearing animals. Right click, harvest, and replant crops. You know, that would be really awesome if we didn't have Pam's Harvest Craft, but I'm pretty sure it's Pam's Harvest Craft that adds the ability to uh, right click and harvest crops because we can already do that. You just have to right click on it. I mean, you can have a tool in your hand, you can have an empty hand, right click. You have a tool in your hand, so if you have a fortune, I think that helps. Um, so you just right click, point, point, point. So the right click effect isn't um, as useful, but if all you have is tinkers, um, yeah, that, that would be awesome if you don't have Pam's Harvest Craft on there. That would definitely be so, because that's not something that's usually in Minecraft. And we've been getting watermelons and pumpkins now. Um, I did get a couple of more seeds, out, watermelon seeds, out of a bag, so I went ahead and planted those. Um, our little pumpkins over here have been growing. Um, I don't like the pumpkins because sometimes they they fall towards the back and I have to break the block to, to get in there to loot them. So that's a pain. Um, I added the water traps because we're, we're getting ocelots and um, they need fish to tame them. I would like to have some kitties around the house. <laughs> so I made these water traps but then I was like well the bait that you use in them uses fish to make so I had to I had to make a fishing rod which I put away and uh, you can no longer like do the look straight up and fish thing you have to have a good stretch of water so I dug this out in the middle um, and filled it up with water so if I stand over here and I do my put my line out it will go over there and I can fish and I was able to get some fish and um, these things I can't do anything with some of them you can only cook and some of them are in different recipes like the snail you can make escargot and the crayfish I think these other things can only be turned into their cooked counterpart and that's it but the main thing you want to do with the ham stuff is they can be used as just the regular fish or you can put them in a grinder that I made um, that will give you two of this um, ground fish so you can turn the one fish that you could make four bait out of into ground fish which you get two of and then you can use one or the two ground fish that you get from one fish to turn into eight bait. So that one fish could get you a possibility of eight fish. So that is pretty awesome. I've been getting the fish. I got like 30 ground fish. I was waiting for the string to make some more, but that's not what I want to do today. I want to get some more fish built up so we can maybe tame some of the kittens, the ocelots that have been running around. Um, <laughs> especially I feel really bad about this, but uh, the water source that I have over there, um, they keep going in and, and drowning over here. Um, mainly because they're like running away from me and then they run all the way over here and then they come over here and just drown in the water. I don't know how because it immediately pushes me out. <laughs> so I don't know how they're getting in there and dying. But they do. At one point, I had four ocelots spawn in there on me. So it was crazy. Um, 
I've been trying to clean out these chests. Uh, let's go ahead and we have a cobalt and we have an ardite. Let's go ahead and make that shovel mode up, mold, or the, the thingy. Turn you off. I don't think we have, oh, that went right in there. Oh, we do have a shovel head. Excellent. That's right, because we did it the first time. So we'll let those melt up. They're gonna take quite a long time to do. And then we'll upgrade the shovel part and see if it upgrades the attack anymore. I don't think it's going to though. The, oh, look, it says the ax level and the shovel level is only up to cobalt. Hmm. I think cobalt is the maximum level, to be honest, so. I don't know though. I know there are materials better than the cobalt, so yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome, I'm telling you. Okay, so there's they're almost done. Let's wait for it. It's almost there. What sucks is that this only turns into two manolin instead of four. Okay, so now we got the two ingots. We'll put it in the shovel mold. Um, I've been just uh, hanging out. I did do the sifting. And um, I've been harvesting and going over, checking the mob trap, emptying things out. There we go. And let's, let's put our ingot cast back in there. I think that's awesome that you can have it in your hand and throw it in there. That is amazing. And I wonder, can I just... Oh, yeah. So, you can click on a block or hover on a block and push P and it'll place whatever's in your hand on the wall. That is super duper awesome. I want to do that with like these. <laughs> this is the workroom. There we go. You can't really see those because they're the color of stone. Oh, let's do this before we wander off. Get in our tool forge. Oh, it did boost the attack a little bit more, like a point and a half. It goes from 10.1 to 11.5. So, heck yeah. The mining speed still sucks, but it's not as good as like a, a pick, a, a, an axe and a shovel by themselves. Okay, we got our tools upgraded. That's awesome. Um, we'll also, I'll probably do this off camera, but I'll, because it's going to take a while to get uh, the the hammer is expensive because each plate takes eight and the head takes eight uh, so that's 24 of some type of metal that you need what I might do is make a cobalt hammerhead and do two large plates of alumite um, If I have the stuff, I just, just have 16. So, but that would save me a lot of iron uh, from having to, because these, I can go through these really quickly, the hammers. So, um, there is a quest to automate with the auto sieve, but I don't want to do that. I want to... Because I've done the auto sieve and it's not as fast as I would like. Because uh, it only uses one sieve, and there's a way that you can um, have an item or a block that will use all nine of these sieves all at once. So it's basically clicking on the center block, but with the way the mechanics are. It's going to use 
all the nearby sieves. So I want to do that versus the other way, which is with the um, X nine hello sieve. Uh, but it'll it's just not as it's just not as fast. Um, but the way this works, we'll have to really have um, a a big a fast way to cut down our cobblestone into gravel in order to make that a little bit more effective. Uh, plus, we'll um, actually. Yeah, we'll need to make diff more setups like this for like at least the 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 dust. The sand actually I don't I'm not sure. Let's look at sand. And the sieve. Uh, we want to look at like what's going to come out of the diamond sieve. So it looks like we're going to get, and you can get that out of the iron one. Looks like we're going to get Yellorium and Prosperity shards and ancient spores and all the different metals. What's cool is the sand drops oops drops all the different ores whereas if you go to like gravel you're missing out on like gold and silver. Uh, but if you go to dust, all you get from dust is gold, silver, and nickel. So, oh, you might even not get nickel from, uh, from gravel. So that's interesting. I guess that's more of a, a way to entice you into wanting to sift for sand because it gives you all the different metals. So if we look at the gravel, oh, we want to look at the sieve. Yeah, see, they only have all, they have only have six and there's nine different ores. So they're missing gold, silver, and nickel. So you can't get the alloys at least not, you know, Electrum and, oh, for crying out loud, uh, the one that takes the nickel, oh, I can't think, I got, I got a headache, so my brain's not wanting to work. It uses the nickel and it makes, um, Invar! Oh my gosh! I did it! <laughs> I remembered. Okay, so it makes the nickel and the iron makes an Invar alloy. And the gold and the silver makes Electrum, which are... Those are key in progressing through thermal expansion. Um, which is going to be key into going into other mods, too. It's not really necessary that you go through it, but it just makes it a little bit easier to stair step into like Ender IO. I think you might be able to go straight into Ender IO, but you need to um, get that induction smelter at the very least in thermal expansion. And I think you always need like uh, the magma crucial and or the magmatic crucible and the fluid transposer to melt things down and put them into other things and whatnot stuff like that but uh for now we want to go into automating oh, i keep pushing tab 
to open the crafting and I'm like, why isn't this working? <sighs> but it's because I've been playing seven days to die and yeah, it gets the, some of the key binds are a little bit different. So it makes it playing different games a little bit interesting. Uh, okay, so the the stuff that I'm looking at is from actually editions, and I need to do. Uh, I think that okay. So there is a block. Oh, look, they got a farmer, a bioreactor. None of this is what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're going to need this atomic reconstructor, though, to do stuff. Uh, let me see if I can find the block. The crusher? Yeah, we'll want the crusher. Um... Uh, I think we might do the double crusher because it can you can then do two at once. I'm not sure if it will allow you to do two at once or if it only holds two stacks of something at once. We'll have to read the manual uh, to see for certain because if it only holds two stacks, there's no point if it's still only going to crush one at a time. But that might be something to look at. Um, we're going to see, we're going to need this Restonia crystal, which takes these red crystal shards. Well, actually, no. These, I think, you you put on, let's look at the manual. Uh, crystal clusters of generate natural, no, yeah, we don't. Here's the atomic reconstructor. Okay, so if you take a block of redstone and you put it in front of the constructor, reconstructor, uh, it gives you this so that's how you we're gonna have to make this first I believe but what we want to do is where is it the auto breaker no Oh, that's not it. Hmm. Oh, it's I hate that this tooltip is on there. There are so many items to look at. Okay, I think the, all the blocks are on the first page here. Lots of different blocks. I I don't know if it's the auto breaker because it's not actually breaking a block. It's just placing it. It's using it. It's not. Hmm. 
Maybe it's this auto placer. I think that's it. Yeah, I think it's the automatic placer. But like I said, we're going to have to make the auto atomic reconstructor. So four redstone, four iron, and we're going to need a black so we need like eight iron, four redstone, eight iron, and a black quartz. Let's just grab our iron. I have been uh, going through all my uh, chests over there and I put some more over by the mob farm so I could open the loot bags. I think for the black quartz, you just, uh, whoa, you just cook this dust and it turns into the black quartz. So let's do that real quick. Eight is always a good number. Uh, we have sticks, so we need one of these guys to make our at atomic reconstructor. There we go. There we go, and there we go. And uh, another thing, I, I opened up another loot bag and I got another Spectre coil uh, in the stack, so I put them over here. I got, this is gonna be for stacking items and this is gonna be for unstacking items. That way everything that stacks will hopefully stack together and take up less room. So this guy takes power, so we're gonna use this um, where can I put this? Uh, it's going to be up here where we uh, actually do the thing. So let's just sort of put it there. Um, it holds the redstone torch to toggle. So we definitely want to toggle this thing. Okay. Right click to toggle. It's in deactivation. We want it to pulse. So we put that there. And now if we give it power, That'll start filling up over there on the left. You can see the little bar of crystal flux. And then if we throw that on there, on the pressure plate, it will send a pulse and it hits out the beam uh, to the first block it hits and then it gets zapped and stoned, it turned into a redstonia crystal, which is pretty cool. So now, uh, wasn't that to do, oh, we actually need the palace crystal. So, ha, 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 I did the wrong one, which is a lapis on there. I'm hoping that is the, the right one. There we go. Now, the autoplay, that doesn't sound right. We need a basic coil. Okay, yeah. So it's we're going to need four more of those. Or three more of those. I love this thing. Look at it. Zorch! And you can throw them all in there at once. But it's just kind of fun to look at. <laughs> Sorry. 
Ah, okay. We need the coil, so we have, we have to go get our black quartz from the furnace. Awesome. Okay. So now we get to do the things. Oh, this is cobblestone and I don't have any on me. Okay. That usually doesn't happen, but I usually have cobble on me. But I was really t pressed for space when I was, um, doing all the the sifting so yeah let me see is this the block I'm thinking of I don't think it is just doesn't look right. I think I'm gonna have to look in the manual. Yeah, I'm going to have to get that book. heck is an ESD? I don't know. Is it the automatic precision dropper? I don't think so. Oh boy, hang on a minute. Let me pause the video. All right. Um, yeah, I figured out I was looking at the wrong mod. Uh, it was in Extra Utilities, and it is the mechanical user that I was thinking of. I just, I, for some reason, my brain frazzled, and I was. Uh, thinking of the actually additions, but that was to get to the crusher, not for the mechanical user. So uh, the recipe is pretty easy. It's just a dropper, which is just cobble and redstone, a stick and a cobble, and the resonating the, the resonating redstone is the hard part because uh, you need four redstone and an ender shard. And to do that, you need an ender pearl and the glass cutter. And the glass cutter is just a stick and three iron. So we did that easy peasy. And we got ourselves a mechanical user. And 
going to put it here underneath the center block of our sifting thing upstairs. So we can just feed our uh, gravel into here. And what I would probably do is, you know, just come over here, get the nine, and then you can come into the crafting table and go K, 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 K. And then, um, okay. <laughs> and then you pick those back up. And then you can just uh, place these down anywhere. Boink, boink, boink. Um, so what I want to do now is get this process automated. Because the mechanical user will sift it for us. Um, it doesn't take any power. So see, we got nine stacks, which is more than enough to fill this up. Now what we have to do is we need to get a way to collect all the items when we put this in here. So if you look, uh-oh, what happened? times okay we can't get to that unfortunately so we're gonna have to go and load our gravel I must have told it to do the wrong thing so I thought it was use item oh activate block with item there we go now it's doing it we have to go clear up that uh, gravel that's above it <laughs> So now, yeah, we need, we need the stuff and things, okay. Ah. Uh, um, yeah, let's, oh, it's just spitting it out everywhere. Let's pull it out because we're not ready. We're not ready for the stuff and things yet. Uh, we need to go ahead and make another item collector. Um, but I don't remember which one I used last time. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Um, what I, oh, I got a flint when I broke the block. Holy crap. So these are things we get when we sift. Uh, gravel, the non-metal um, items, and then we get the six different metal items there. Uh, so we need an item collector of some sort, and a chest to put it in, and then we can... Uh, You know, once we get that, that can be something temporary, and then we can get it to uh, later to go into our actual system here where we have all of our um, drawers set up. Uh, we can possibly put like a, a drawer controller down and feed everything into there, and then it will just go where it belongs. Uh, so that would be ideal. So now we need some sort of way to pick up things. 
Uh, the item collector is really good. Um, that we're using for our mob system uh, and you can upgrade it so that would be even better because then you can um, you can increase the range so that or, or decrease it uh, but there is another one that you can move you can actually move the area which is really awesome and I think um, I think it's the ranged item collector that I was looking at before. It's the item collector from Cyclic. I don't think that's it. Ah, this is it right here, the absorption hopper. Yeah, this thing is freaking awesome. Okay, so we need three obsidian, a hopper, and an eye of ender. We actually got the eye of the ender and the obsidian, so we just need to make a hopper, which we can do right here. Boink. Bing, 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 bing. Zoink. So now we need to get <laughs> my inventory. Let's um let's push the stuff out momentarily. <coughs> push this stuff out too. So we can go and make this extra super fast like three of yous. We've actually gotten an Eye of Ender in one of our loot bags. I think I put, is it still over here? I might have moved it over here. Yeah, I did. I did move it over there. Awesome. So, what we can do is come up here Oh, we need, um, we need a chest. Uh, let's make one of those. Really awesome crates. So it is like this. Boink, 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 boink. And boink. Boink, boink, boink. And then boink, 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 boink. And bonk, 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 bonk. And then we have our crate. Okay, so what we want to do is place this one like right there. And then place this right there. And what direction are we? We're facing north, so we want that to come off the north side to be items. There we go. Yes. So that's feeding into this chest. Um, and now we can show the area. All right, this is a little bit bigger. I really wanted to focus in on it. Um, so maybe we'll I, I wish I is that gonna shrink it? Um
plus two north south minus one east west minus one Oh, it's oh, it's just moving it. I I want it to shrink it. Okay, that went down one, I think. I don't want that. And that's up one. So, I guess we just have to deal with it being the size that it is. I really wish I could shrink it, not just move it. Uh, but that'll work. So pretty much almost anything in this room will get picked up by that hopper. Uh, so now we can come back down here and throw all of our gravel that we put in the chest into our thing in the chopper. Boink, 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 boink. Boink. Oh, let's go see it. Uh huh. Splatter. Did you see that? That is awesome. So, uh, the only thing is, there we go, see all our stuff and things, it's going up there. Sweet! <laughs> now that will sit and sieve for us while we're AFK. Hopefully it will generate more diamonds. Um, let's turn the area off. Hopefully it will generate more diamonds for us so we can fill this in and it will go even faster. So probably like the first diamonds that it gets I will invest into filling in the rest of these and we'll leave these diamonds in reserve for something we might need to craft other than a mesh. <laughs> so bada bing bada boom we have stuff. And then it will take even a less amount of time for that to get done. So what we want to do now is, uh, well, the episodes run along because I forgot which mod to look in for the mechanical user. Whoa, did you see that diamond got thrown all the way over here? Did it go in? Yes, it did. Okay, awesome. So next time we're probably going to look into more, automating this even more getting a crusher, some power of some sort to crush it. We do have the specter coils. Um, but that's only going to get us so far. Uh, let's look at the crusher versus like a, a pulverizer. from um, Crusher p p Pilverizer. Oh, Extra Utilities has a Crusher too. Interesting. So you can crush those. Uh-huh. Awesome. But that's like 4,000 RF. I wonder, um... So we also need to look at the crusher for extra utilities. But the thing about these, the this crusher versus 
this one. This one you probably won't be able to upgrade with speed upgrades. I'm not sure about the extra utilities one. We might want to make this just to see because it is just mainly iron and like two redstone. What is this machine block? Okay, so but we get four of those. And there's a mechanism crusher, but I don't like mechanism. And there's this. So that's um, copper versus iron, and it takes two flint. This machine frame, which has iron. So let's try the extra utility one. We'll go ahead and call the episode here, and I will. Yeah, we'll pick up and we'll try out our ex the extra utilities crusher. Um, and see if it, because Extra Utilities does have speed upgrades, but you have to have, um, that sort of, it's not really energy, but it's Extra Utilities own sort of, uh, power pool, type thing. It's grid power. Um, but basically you you have it to contend with as well. So that's kind of a minus because then we'd have to get grid power if we wanted to upgrade it. So it might it might be better in the long run to just do the pulverizer because we can then upgrade the pulverizer with speed upgrades and, and it will go a lot faster it'll take more power but by the time we can do the upgrades it'll be okay we'll have all the power that we want um, by doing other things so anyway thank you for watching and we'll see you next time come back and we'll get more automation going Thank you for watching and bye-bye.